It's time for todaystocks.com with host Pat Ballin. Well, for a look at 2022 for Belmont Resources, we're joined by the CEO, George Sukochov. George, nice to meet you. Pleasure to be here, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell my story to your uh, listeners and viewers. Uh, well, over your shoulder, you've got quite the uh, map in terms of the projects that you've got going. Tell me about them a little bit. I see Come By Chance, the CBC, for instance, at the top of the list. That's right. Yeah. Well, this was part of our, we've, we've been busy on four projects here in a variety of metals here, copper, gold, silver, and lithium here. And just as a very quick summary, in 2022, what we accomplished was uh, the come by chance, which we're targeting a large copper gold porphyry, we put in 2,300 meters into there, 2,300 meters of drilling in the HA gold. I'll go into more, a little more detail. Uh, to another 7,000 meters in our Lone Star, where we've uh, generated a a resource on that as well, copper gold resource, very pleased with that's developing. And for lithium, uh, we drilled 2,000, we have a, a JV partner that as well, who's putting up all the uh, all the costs for drilling. Uh, we drilled 2,000 meters on that if we're looking for lithium brines as opposed to clay lithiums. And okay, let's get into a little bit more detail on each one of those individually, if we can, for 2023. What are you planning? Well, starting off with our flagship project, and this is the uh, Come By Chance or CBC, we're targeting a large copper gold porphyry, as I've said, and we've drilled, we've done some extensive IP and geophysics, and we've drilled uh, somewhat uh, 2,000 meters this year, early this year, and it's targeting and we're vectoring in towards a uh, the core of a potential large porphyry system. And so we have enough information now to know where how to plan our 2023 drill program, and that's more of the the core of the pro, of the of the portfolio system. So we're very excited about that, and mm -hmm. uh, that's where the you know the company's really focused on. And moving on, we have our AJ or it's the Atlas and Jackpot, the Atlas and, and Jackpot gold mines, two gold mines, two historic gold mines, 1890s, 1900s. And what we plan to do there is that we're finding a lot of dumps on the on the property from old mine workings, and these dumps are in those days, 1890s or the 1900s, as I said, if they didn't see visual gold, then they considered it dirt. Well, today we think different, new technology, new processing, new extraction. And we've, uh, uh, and sampling on some of these dumps have got up to one ounce per ton gold. So it's a quick fast track to a uh, revenue generated. We're going to process, sample further bulk sample and uh, process this nearby mills. Moving on, uh, again, uh, again, this is our Lone Star Copper Gold Porphyry, Porphyry, or not Porphyry, sorry, just the resource. This is our JV partner, at, uh, Marquis, again. They're footing 100% of the of the exploration. They spent $2.5 million last year, uh, gave us $3 million of their shares, plus uh, $300,000 in cash. It's a good deal for our shareholders and for 80% of the project. They have produced, they've drilled 7,000 meters, they produce a resource, uh, they, and it shows that the resource is open and uh, sent, but now they're focused on a, for the upcoming year, they'll drill some more, and they're focused on delivering a PEA, which is part of their uh, commitment to uh, earn 80%. So that'll be the focus of that drilling, more, more drilling, focus on the higher grade core, higher grade of the system there, and uh, we look forward to that as well, as far as with for our shareholders. And then the last one is Kibbe. Uh, Kibbe Lithium. If you love lithium, you'll love this one. Again, uh, Belmont owns about 50 square kilometer, all the claims in this basin, one of the, in this basin, which is just north of uh, Clayton Valley. One of the features of this is uh, we have two water permits. We have plenty of water, unlike Clayton Valley, where they're struggling for water, even if they're advanced stage projects, they don't have water. And we have plenty of water. We're developing, uh, looking for the uh, the lithium brines, unlike not clays, but brines, which are deeper down. Now, this is very expensive uh, to drill these at this deep, especially in the clays, uh, through the clays, through the muds, through gravels. It's a really expensive. And then the sampling, over a thousand meters of sampling. And not only do you sample the clays, but you sample the water. And so you're doubling your cost. And it really is a... If you don't have deep pockets, you know, it, it, it can break the company, the drilling for lithium. But 
And knowing this, we, we brought in a JV partner, again, the Australian group, Marquee out of Australia. They said, we're glad to drill it. We'll put up the money. So we gave them only a 10 square kilometer core of this of the project. What that does is they take on all the risk at their expense, uh, two and a half million to $3 million. Uh, again, it's, it saves our shareholders from dilution. We don't have to uh, spend a dime on this. And uh, if they are successful in this year, the coming year, if they are successful, we have all the upside. We retain the uh, remaining 40 kilometers around the core there, which has contains this an anomaly here, uh, Brian tar Targets. So we have all the upside and minimal downside, zero downside, actually. And if they are successful, also, we retain 20% in the core as well. So it's a really good deal for our shareholders where someone else takes all the risk. And that's the way you want to do business in this. Okay, George. So to summarize, then uh, you've got the come by chance. That's your uh, backbone, if you will, as you described it. And then you've got potential joint venture projects with Marquee. Is is that correct overall? That's correct. Uh, Marquee has taken on the Lone Star and the Kibbe. They're footing uh, over five million dollars in drilling last year, and they'll continue to drill both projects and uh, financing 100 percent to earn an 80 percent. Our focus it will be on 100%. We've kept, a, like we like to say, and don't tell uh, Marquis this, but we kept the best for ourselves yet. We, we think we have uh, you know, more, more upside for our shareholders. That's the CBC, which is a large copper gold porphyry, similar to other uh, copper gold porphyries in British Columbia, as well as the AJ. We love the gold aspect of the AJ, but in fact, it's a short, short path to uh, revenue generating by pro processing uh, a fine dump material. So uh, we'll be focusing on this in the new year and be very, very busy there as well. So a lot of news coming out and we hope that the markets come back and uh, regardless uh, if they do or do not, that uh, Marquis will still be spending money on the projects and generally use. Well, George, sounds like an exciting year ahead. Thanks for sharing that story. Thank you very much, Pat. George Sukokov is the CEO of Belmont Resources.